Uh, today went well, I think. Uh, I didn't retest or anything. I just did the field work, so um, it was pretty easy. I think you guys saw it. it took about you know 15 minutes or so, and that was about it. So uh, I think it went well, though. Uh, all the drills were pretty straightforward, and you know not, nothing crazy, nothing out of the blue. So it, was, it went well. What have you sort of been doing to prepare for this at all? Anything different in terms of your training for preparing for today? Um, no, I mean I was training for the combine, so I mean if you could go to the combine, I'm sure you could do these drills too. Um, you know, it wasn't like I didn't, did anything different. You know, you just got to move. You got to be able to play well. I mean, all those drills are just you know, football drills. I think I've been doing since I was seven years old. So it wasn't it wasn't anything different. How's this whole experience been for you? Obviously, it's different from you know when you were in school. And now you're meeting with teams and talking. Yeah. How's that process been? For you? Uh, the, the whole process, you know, leading up to to the combine and pro day has been uh, just kind of crazy to reflect on and see how far I am and how far I still have to go. But it's it's been great, you know. I just just work out, eat, train. That's about it. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's not like you got practice and lifting, and school, and all that. So it, I would say it's almost easier in a sense of you know, it's all you have to do. It's really you know, starting to transition into being a professional, and you know, that's all you have to do. Take care of yourself, take care of your body, and um, hopefully things fall into place. What kind of feedback did you get from your combine performance? Uh, everything was positive. Um, you know, I, I thought I ran well, I benched well jumped pretty well too so I was happy with it all um, I didn't ask anybody you know like what you think and you know, I'm not trying to be that guy but uh it was uh everything that I heard was positive have you got a sense of what you know, you'll need to get better at at the next level you need to improve on with it, whatever team you end up going to uh, I think obviously the biggest the biggest thing is just moving from tackle to inside to guard or center um, I've been stuck at tackle since you know my junior year of high school so just one of those things that I'm um, just going to have to practice that and get better. But I mean, you know, that's, that's what football is. You just got to practice it and perfect your craft and get better at the things that you're you know, not as good at and, you know, hopefully make your, your weaknesses your strengths and just keep building on it. Have you been Did contacted you... about setting up any potential interviews with teams leading up to the draft? Uh, I already had a workout with the Panthers three days ago. Uh, I got two more coming up next week. Uh, with the Browns and Saints, okay. I got the Bengals lined up as well. Um, so yeah, teams are starting to show more interest. Uh, I think you know having the teams out here today uh, will also benefit uh, not only myself but the teammates as well. And, you know, get get more exposure for everybody. So uh, yeah, I mean it's it's really uh, it's all up in the air right now. I guess is like the best way to put it. You okay. know, you never really know who's interested in you, and then you get a call tomorrow, be like, oh, we won't work you out. You know, in two days. So uh, you never know. What are those meetings like? I mean, do they ask you a lot of questions or do they just work you out? Uh, I mean, it's not like an interview as far as, well, I mean, I, based off of what I did on Tuesday, I met with the coach on Monday. Uh, we were, did a board work for like two and a half, three hours. Uh, I guess most of those meetings are usually an hour, but, um, you know, we just kept going over a bunch of different things uh, as far as their offense and, you know, different nuances of, uh, you know, their offense and how they pick things up. So that was interesting. It was, it, was, it was a good look to, to you know, kind of get a, a glimpse as to what to expect coming up with other interviews. And I wouldn't even call it an interview. I call it more of a, you know, a practice learning session. Um, you know, all the interviews are done at the combine. You know, they're asking you, you know, family history. You know, what your interests are, stuff like that. Now, they, you know, it's about football right now. So that's that's really what those those meetings are like. And then they work you out, either that day or the following day for about an hour or so. Do you have any uh, interesting questions for you, kind of off the? Yeah, know, no, um, I didn't really have any any weird questions. I think the most, you know, off the wall one was like, are you right or left-handed? As I was right with my right hand, um, you know, just trying to catch you off guard, but uh, nothing, nothing weird. I think, you know, the interviewers asked me more weird questions than than any of the coaches did. You talked about this being a transition, and obviously, it's a lot different from the normality that you went through. Is this an exciting process for you? Is this something you look forward to in meeting with these teams? And yeah, absolutely. I mean, this has been my goal since, you know, I was seven years old. I always wanted to play some kind of professional sport. And, uh, you know, I'm finally getting my opportunity. And, you know, when people show interest, you know, it's, uh, it makes you feel good and that, that your hard work is being noticed and, you know, that you get to get finally sit down with them one-on-one -on -one and show them what you do and, you know, prove yourself.